for kind of cooking show, you know what I mean? I'm always giving the fans them their recipe with their request. Someone requests Jamaican caramel porridge. But you know what I mean? It's just me blend it. You don't need to blend it. You can mix it up into a bowl with some milk or water and cook it for 20 minutes, you know what I mean? And then after sweeten it with some condensed milk and put in your spices. Lovely, nice and tasty. First, I must say, um, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, Google Plus, 50% off my cookbook. New website coming out very soon. Look forward for that one. Updated website. So we know we, we know that the website been done for a period of time. So we're gonna sort that out. So thank you so much and stay tuned with Chef. Nice and lovely guys. Anyway, today we wanna make a Jamaican Kami porridge. You know what I mean? A lot of people have been requesting it from me from the last couple of weeks and days. A lot of people want to know how Chef Ricardo make his Jamaican caramel porridge. But it's two ways you can do caramel porridge. Alright? I mean using the fine caramel. Really, really fine. This is the, the best one to use to make um, caramel porridge. So what we're going to do, I just cut off one little section of the caramel and I'm gonna pour one cup. I'm using a cup at the moment. So either two things, you can either put it into this big bowl and just pour some either water or milk or you could either use a ninja blender and just pour it in a ninja blender like this. And then um, we're gonna put some coconut milk in it to show my fans then. One cans of one one cup of coconut milk. I'm using some coconut milk at the moment. And then we're going to use some whole milk. So that's one cup of whole milk and one cup of coconut milk. But I'm just showing my fans that it's two things. I like to blend it. I don't know, you know what I mean? When I blend it, it gives me a more really, really nicer flavor and really smoothy and you know what I mean so I normally blend it for about a minute or a second so what I'm going to do is just blend it for a minute or a second you don't have to blend it you can simply put it to a big bowl whisk it and put it straight inside of your pot so what I'm going to do now is just blend it for a second let me find them safe Nice one. So that's it. I just blend it for a second. You know what I mean? That's one of Chef Ricardo new ideas which I come out with over the last couple of months. I've been working on this idea of making it every every porridge one time I'm making porridge and you blend it. Oh never seal properly, but that's fine. So that's it right there. I just give it a little one blend. But I'm saying you don't have to do that, you know what I mean? That's the chef record of ideas. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you how to cook it. Nice and lovely. So basically, we got at least three cups of water inside of the pot. Make sure you got a whisk. And all you're going to do is just take a little time. Pour it in like this. So what's gonna happen is gonna be automatically less. You're gonna see it get really, really thick. Let's give it a second. Nice and lovely. So basically I just take out a little bit of the water outside of it. Some of the liquid. But look at this. You're gonna see how it get really thick. Smell nice already.
so this is exactly what you're looking for that thickness so turn on your stove guys it's gonna start to pop up and you don't want that to burn you if this burn you <clears throat> tell you yeah so cover this like this allow it to cook for a nice good 15 minutes nice and lovely so basically as you can see is a little bit thick at the moment as i can see it in the pot so that's all uh, this set of my fans i'm gonna make in purge less water than the pot it's easier to anger so what you can simply do is two things you can either add water or some milk so i got some milk and i'm just gonna add a little bit more milk to it now you don't want it to say too you know what i mean too thick or you too running but you want it that way to look really nice so a little bit more yeah it's not too bad this is fine yeah so what you're gonna do you're still gonna leave that for make it cook for a nice good 10 more minutes nice one yeah looking lovely nice one nice and lovely guys so look at this see that looking good so far with a star nice one so you know a lot of people doesn't know that when you're making caramel porridge you need to allow it for it to cook boil properly and all these things that mean you can simmer that lovely scent so right now as you can see the porridge look wonderful honestly all right and the scent alone is amazing anyway what we want to do we're gonna sweet me because roughly about almost 20 minutes now since i have it boiling like that so basically some salt but remember guys when i when i blend the when i blend the the caramel you don't have to blend it you can just mix up into some milk or water some people use milk though you know what i mean lovely and um pinch of vanilla you might say a pinch, but you know, the other that's a chef ricotta is more than a pinch. That, but you don't know the thing already. If you're gonna be measuring, guys, please use teaspoon because, as I always say to my fans, I'm, I'm a chef and I know what I'm doing. So, if you're going to do what chef ricotta been doing, please use a teaspoon, it's very much better. And then I can measure out your stuff. Then, you get what I mean nice one so vanilla in already salt in give it a whisk then we're going to put a little bit of mixed spice bring up a lovely flavor to it also we're gonna put some cinnamon a lot of people doesn't know that cinnamon is good for you pinch of cinnamon anything you put cinnamon in remember me telling you you're losing weight and you're balancing your diet we're gonna put some nutmeg egg because nutmeg egg give it a lovely flavor and a nice taste. Pinch of it. Nice one. Make the fans and can see exactly what's going on at the pot. Someone request the caramel porridge. But as I said, you don't need to blend it. You know what I mean? But I mean that, you know what I mean? Chef Ricardo loves to blend every little thing, you know, and get something. Every day you learn, every day you learn something new. You get what I mean? So basically, as I said, you don't need to blend it. And we're gonna sweeten it with some sweet condensed milk. Sweeten and taste as it goes along. This is a sweet condensed milk. So you sweeten it and then you taste it. And if it wants some more salt, spices, or you know what I mean, sweet more sweet condensed milk, you can always add it. But as I can see, you see how the porridge look? It does look refining and that's why I like to blend it. Even finer more than all the porridge or the caramel look. Probably put a little pinch more salt. Got you, this is sea salt, you know, this is not like the other salt, them strong. You know what I mean? Sea salt is just for a little flavor. Lovely. As I can see, you see that? That looking nice and that's fantastic. Give it a taste. A 
honestly honestly guys this is amazing this one gonna blow my brain you know what i like about it not too sweet and not a lot of salt not too much spices and all these things so what you need to do cover it allow it for a while one another six more minutes and that's it good to go we can share it out after six minutes time nice and lovely so basically i eat this you know i'm gonna share it out now nice one looking lovely and nice so we're gonna share it out and see how it look on all right guys so enjoy the recipe and please subscribe and leave your comments below thank you so much nice and lovely so right here so i have the spoon ready already and a big old bowl ready for the porridge so basically you know chef record and armor did us do a little thing like this and you know what i mean i saw the thing there yeah looking so lovely and nice nice lovely bowl of caramel porridge you know yeah yeah i must say i say oh chef record makes so much porridge in the winter yeah but you know no winter time night nice near to the summer yeah but you know, it's winter soon come back, you know, so we have to get everybody still set up and ready. But anyway, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into the show. As you can see, that's the Jamaican caramel porridge requested by the fans. And I definitely have to just send it on and make one for them, you know what I mean? Thank you so much for tuning into the show. We got a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas and a lot more things coming out from Chef Ricardo. Share, like, and subscribe. Very important. Click in that bell. Thank you so much for watching the show. Nice one.